G O B. Welcome to another GOB course log video. I'm your host, Sons and Guns, here for part one of this 18 hole vlog here at Thin Castle in Virginia. Holes one through nine. It's gonna be a beautiful day, slightly overcast, but that's okay. Sun's out, guns out. If you don't mind, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and thanks for watching. Let's just go ahead and jump right into that first tee. Here we go, hole one, par four, straight away as you can see, bunker out to the right, tee it high, let it fly, a little bit of a breeze back into me today, still a good start, Ray Ray Wood just trying to carry distance as the green is off over this tree, end up just a touch right, still good play. Bump and run chip hits on the fringe and rolls all the way through the green to the bottom. Long uphill par putt to start and boom. It's a great way to start for an amateur. Let's go. Hole two par four, a little bit of a dog leg right to left over the slope. Let the big dog eat and I get every bit of this. A little bit of wind helping me, and I get all the way down to the bottom of the slope. Uphill wedge approach shot. Pin back behind the bunker. Didn't really challenge this flag, just wanted to get it on the surface, and I met that goal. Long uphill birdie putt and swing, swing right on by. But another tap in par. It's a great way to start. Moving right into hole three, par five, bunkers left and right. Just tee it up and let it fly. Struck well. Challenge that bunker on the right, but just a touch short. Three wood, just trying to carry distance. And again, I meet that goal with great success. Wedge approach shot. I strike it well. Keep it right below the hole. Give me another look at birdie here to start. Trickle, 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 just short. But that's three pars in a row. Can never complain about that as an amateur. Let's go. Hole four, par three, down the hill. Bunkers protecting left and short and right. Fairway would get up and under it just a touch and ends up just down to the right. But no complaints there. Bump and run chip. Try to hit it to the high side and I meet that goal. Stays above the pin. Long downhill par putt and it just, oh, goes to the high side. But tap in bogeys in the amateur style. Always a good thing. Good hole. Moving right into hole five, par four, a little bit of a dog leg left to right. Just chase the tree line up the right. Doesn't cut back as much as I would have thought it would, but still no complaints right out into the short grass. Almost crisscross myself, trying to attack this flag stick, and I end up well left over the bunker into the rough. And just keeping it in play. Bump and run chip on the way back. Zoom, zoom. Right on by the hole. Give me a look at par here. And boom. It's another great up and down. Moving on. Hole six, par four. Straight out and then back to the left. Just a touch. Let the big dog eat. And I strike this one well. Hits on the down slope and gets caught in some rough and doesn't release all the way down. Then, unfortunately, here, get up and under it, end up short again. Leaving me this bump and run chip. Gets well above the hole, but on the surface, regardless, still a good hole, good shot. Long downhill par putt. Swing, swing. Just doesn't make it to the hole. Tap in bogeys. Good hole. 
Jumping right into hole seven, par four, big dog leg left to right, all the way up the hill. Just tee it high, let it fly. Get every bit of this driver that I can. Still ends up on the upslope. Fairway wood, just trying to cover distance, and I strike it well. Playing off my standard cut. Gets right onto the front of the green. Long uphill birdie putt. Just again runs out of steam as it gets to the top. Par look that just ends up to the right. But another tap in bogey in the amateur style. Good hole. Jumping right into hole eight, par three, straight away as you can see, bunkers left and right. Up to the top of the hill, playing my standard cutoff with a fairway wood. Lands just to the left of the green and rolls out to the top. Long downhill birdie putt that just swings right on by. Leaving me this uphill cleanup for par and boom. Another good hole. Moving on. Big finishing hole, hole nine, par four straight away as you can see. Just let the big dog eat and it gets fed one more time on this front side. Right out into the short grass. What a great start. Mid iron approach, playing my standard cut off, expecting it to spin left to right. And boom, it does. It's right next to the hole. Put a good roll and boom. That's right, it's birdie bottle time. No greater feeling for the birdie bottle time. Hey, hole. So, this has been part one of this two week course vlog here between Castle. Play some good golf, play some bad golf. But all in all, still had a great day. If you've enjoyed this content, give it a like. If you want to see more golf content, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you for watching. Everyone, have a great day. Do you want to know?